Welcome to the art project. This is a project that I got from a wonderful high school teacher on her Teacher Pay Teachers website. Her name is Tiffany Fox and I will tell you how you can get the plans for this awesome project at the end of the video. This is now the first project that I do with all of my classes. It is a visual autobiography. The I Am Project. It combines collage with zentangles. Please note that this video has been edited and sped up and makes it look really simple. In reality, it will take you 8 to 10 class periods. Step 1. Fill out the two worksheets to help you think through what kinds of images you need. The first sheet asks personal questions like, list three words to describe yourself, or what is your favorite kind of music? The second allows you to think of ways to visually represent the answers to those questions. For example, if your favorite music is rock, you might find pictures of a drum set or guitar to glue down. The colored paper helps keep things straight when explaining things to students, but I copied the wrong information on the wrong color. I'll do better next time. Step two, for homework, you're gonna find and bring in six pieces of ephemera or things that could easily be glued to paper. Three that fit the answers to the questions in the second column of boxes that I'm filling out now. And then three that you can put in the community box for everyone in the class to use. To do this, you're really going to have to think outside the box, which is, of course, what the art class is for. There are a few magazines, very few magazines, just lying around the house, so you have to get creative. Old receipts, gift wrap, wristbands from the theme park you went to over the summer, or even a paper bag from your favorite fast food restaurant. Do not come to school without your six pieces of ephemera, because if you do, it's a zero. Step three, you're going to divide your format into 12 sections. I divided it up first with an X that specified a point close to the center. Then I divide two more times through that same center point with lines whose top end was closer to the top of the board than to the center. Then two more lines that are between those. And when you are done, you'll sh you should have 12 sections but you're only going to number every other section so that you have numbers one through six that correspond with the questionnaire's numbers. And the six sections in between those will be filled with Zentangles. I have other videos on Zentangles. Please check out those. A link should be provided right here somewhere on the video right now. Looking through the magazines for the perfect piece is time consuming. So dedicate yourself to searching diligently for what you need and not talking to your neighbor. You will run out of time if you are not working. Step five, once you find the right image, either cut it out precisely with no jagged edges and no background still around the image or cut it to fit the triangle it goes in precisely. To do this, I made two straight edges from sheets of old from sheets of folded copy paper, but you can use a ruler or two. Once you have the image located where you want it, lay the two straight edges on the correct lines, trace them, and then cut on the lines. Step seven, glue everything down securely so that no edges can be lifted. I spread stick glue over the entire back of the image twice so the piece becomes a sticker with adhesive all over, completely including the edges. Step eight. Once the background of the entire section has been filled with one large image, you can easily add images on top for a much more complex work of art. Step nine. Put zentangles in the spaces in between. Always practice your patterns on scrap paper to get the best results. Again, I have uh, videos on Zentangles. There should be a link to one right here. If you can't find it here, 
Uh, be sure to do a search on my YouTube channel for Zentangles, and I think I have a couple of different videos you can watch. Once you have all of your Zentangles placed, step 10 is to glue your selfie into the middle of the whole board on top of everything else. I forgot to do this at the time I made this video, so if you want to see what it looks like when I do, please check out my Instagram, or for more examples of this project, check out Miss Tiffany Fox's Instagram and or her Teacher Pay Teacher site. Look in the description below for links to her sites. She has lots of resources on Teacher Pay Teachers that I think are worth the money. You get slideshow presentations, videos, handouts, um, and rubrics for every assignment. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel for more art projects. And be sure to leave me a comment down below about what you think. As always, thanks for watching this video. If anything here was too fast, please feel free to go back and pause and replay and rewind. You can also uh, slow it down if you click the gear in the bottom right hand corner of the video and click on playback speed and change the speed of it. You can watch it at a slower pace. This is what I have finished so far. Like I said, I forgot to put my selfie in the middle of it. Uh, but I will do that soon. And I will post a picture of it on my Instagram site. Alright, now it's y'all's turn. Go make some art. Oh wait, I almost forgot. You need to see some examples of student work. All of the following student work that you're going to see at the end of this video is from Miss T. Fox's resources, from Miss T. Fox's art classes, from Miss T. Fox's students. Uh, excellent work that she's done here. And so if you want to get a hold of those resources, uh, check out the screen, the shot at the end of this video uh, for how to get to her teacher pay teachers resources. Thanks for watching.